I'm going to wear a white dress all day long with four kids and we're going to see what happens to it by the end of the day. Hi everyone, Jennifer here. Welcome back to The Daily Connoisseur. So I do the 10 item capsule wardrobe and one of my core items this year, core items, not an extra, but a core item, which means I'm going to wear it on a regular daily basis, is this white linen blend dress that I have. And I love this dress. I I love it. And, and it's so funny because the pole, when I wanted to get it, um, I ordered it online and it came and I put it on and I loved it. But instantly I thought, oh, I've got four kids and a baby and a toddler. Is this practical? Should I wear this? So I decided to throw caution to the wind and just get it. Um, so this is the first day that I'm wearing it for the first time all day and I have, you know, my kids here, you can probably hear them in the background. So I'm going to see how it goes. I'm, I don't know. So this is a linen blend dress. And so this is at the beginning of the day. Um, previously to this, I had, uh, made breakfast already. It's actually Easter Sunday, by the way, <laughs> when I'm filming this. So, but it's not a typical Easter. Normally we would go to church on Easter, but, uh, we are quarantined right now. So we're staying here. And so anyway, I made, uh, bacon and eggs already in this. This is before I did my makeup and I burnt the bacon. I burnt it. Uh, but anyway, that's a whole other story. I'm going to check in with you throughout the day and we will see what the dress looks like at the end of the day. Can you wear white when you have small children? That's what we're gonna find out. All right, I'll see you soon. daughter's here and she is making a dollhouse. This is so cool. I wanted to show it to you. Can you show it to them? Yeah, there. It's for my sister. That is so cute. I love it. And there's interchangeable wallpaper in the back. So the day is going really well. I'm actually whispering because the baby is on the other side of the wall having his nap. So I put him to sleep and um, I just used a little cloth over my shoulder when I was putting him to sleep, just in case. Uh, but he's asleep. But anyway, um, I'm having a good day. This isn't a typical day. This is Easter Sunday. So it's not like I'm cleaning the whole house. This is more of a relaxing day. I spent some time with my older son just playing in his room and just kind of putting his toys away and stuff like that. And now I snuck away to have a little break. I still have my coffee here. And um, I was doing some research because I wanna know about the white dress. And every time I Google the history of the white dress, I only get the history of the wedding dress. Um, but I think it's really interesting to know that one of my favorite poets, Emily Dickinson, wore primarily white, especially near uh, in her later years. So I always was curious about that. And I found something that I wanna share with you. 
Okay, so I'm looking at my computer here and it says this is Emily Dickinson's white dress in the Emily Dickinson Museum. Um, so this is a typical dress that she would wear uh, on a regular basis. So it says, as Emily Dickinson's writings have grown in popularity since her death, certain objects associated with the poet have become icons. Chief among them is the white dress thought to have been Dickinson's. The dress is a typical house garment of the late 1870s and early 1880s, worn when Dickinson was in her late 40s and early 50s. So this is a typical house garment. Isn't that interesting? And I read a little bit down below on why that is. Basically, there's a history about what happened with the dress. Her sister gave it away. So it says right here, did wearing the color white have symbolic meaning for Dickinson? The poet's friends, as well as subsequent Dickinson scholars have debated this question. Dickinson herself used white in her own writings to describe anything from the soul to a wedding gown. The complex religious associations with the color white would have been well known to the poet, a knowledgeable reader of the Bible. The poet heroine of Elizabeth Barrett Browning's Aurora Lee, one of Dickinson's best loved books, wore white. Yet white was also practical, easy to care for in a time when bleaching was considered a most reliable solution for cleaning soiled garments. Whatever reason for her color choice, Dickinson was buried in white and enclosed in a white casket. And there's a quote here. It says, um, shortly after moving to Amherst in 1881, Mabel Loomis Todd wrote to her parents of the town's myth. She dresses wholly in white and her mind is said to be perfectly wonderful that of uh, Emily Dickinson. So isn't that interesting? I always thought that was interesting that Emily Dickinson made that choice to wear all white. So can you imagine making that choice and just always wearing white? Um, and I find it funny that they thought that white was actually easier to clean because you could just bleach it. So anyway, this is giving me hope on wearing my white dress. So this is Emily's iconic white dress on display in her room midday update we are going to go on a walk and then we're going to have some easter lunch we're going to be outside a bit an egg hunt and all that so i am wearing the mercy wrap now it's kind of hard to see with me holding it but i can't tell you how much i love this wrap i love it and um yeah so it's hard i feel like a character from biblical times while i'm holding it up like this but i promise it's actually very chic my daughter just saw me she goes mom you look so chic so um let's see if you can see it like this i need to get a cameraman where's ben when i need him okay so uh anyway this is you know kind of like what it looks like but if it gets cold i'll wrap this around me but it is spring here and um so i am just wearing my sandals today but yes this wrap goes really well uh with the dress so i think that it's very elegant and cozy and comfortable and springy and everything so all right um let's carry on with the day okay this is the apple pie that i made it's my rustic apple pie um yeah it kind of fell apart here during the night but i think it looks it looks really yummy so my um, younger son had a chocolate egg and uh, he came over and wiped his face on my dress <laughs> It was happening in slow motion. So I've got the first major stain of the day, but that's okay. I didn't worry too much about it. Uh, I could probably get this out later. There we go, it happened. Hi everyone. So it is the end of the day and we actually had a really good day today. I was crying laughing today. So I don't know um, if my makeup is smudged. I have no idea. But it was a really good Easter and um, we got to spend it with my parents and it was very nice. So we had a good day and um, I have to say, so even though today wasn't a typical day uh, and we didn't do what we normally do, I actually got to relax a lot today, which was really nice. I got to read a lot, which I never do during the day. And I'm, re uh, I'm reading this book right now, How to Be a Victorian. I've read parts of it, but I haven't read the whole thing. So I got to dive back into this again and um, we got to relax, we had a lovely meal and a really nice dessert and it was good. But we did a lot of messy stuff today. For instance, we had a muddy Easter egg hunt in the rain and the kids were all eating chocolate. So considering that, which is more messy than our days typically are, I think the white dress held up really well. It was only that one time when my son wiped his face, um, his chocolatey mouth on the dress and I will totally be able to get that stain out. I'm not worried about it at all. So here's the thing. I felt very elegant today. I felt really 
presentable and uh, put together and I got some compliments and um, I do feel good and I love to wear white. And so I'm just not gonna be afraid of it anymore. And I have a lot of people that use that excuse. They say, Jennifer, I want to wear X, Y, Z, but I have little kids or I have a pet or I have whatever it is. And so my advice to you is to just wear it. Just wear the clothes that you are afraid of wearing. It's the equivalent of not using a beautiful china teacup that you have. And just let's say you have a beautiful tea set and they just sit on the shelf for your entire life and they just collect dust and maybe you use them once or twice. Meanwhile, you're just um, sipping tea out of like a cracked old mug or something like that. That's, that's what it's like. It's like, I would rather use my everyday china and chip it and get it ruined because then that elevates everyday life and then you can always get more eventually, you know? So that's what I equate it to. I love dressing well and even though I was nervous to wear white today uh, for the first time, I'm getting back into it. Um, I, I loved it and I didn't feel um, like I was restricted, like kids don't touch me or anything like that. I did feel like I was able to relax today. So it was a success all in all, and I do have one chocolatey stain on the dress, but that's okay, it'll totally come out. And I will leave uh, an update down below to tell you if it came out. Check my corresponding blog post. All right, so it is the end of the day. I'm going to take a nice hot bath, get into some pretty PJs, and we are going to call it a night. Thank you so much for joining me today on The Daily Connoisseur, and I hope you have a great evening, and I hope you feel encouraged to wear your best on a daily basis. Don't save it for later. Okay, bye everyone.